What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. I just woke up about four minutes ago, but I checked uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization and I found out that we got the last but just as card uh, revealed today. We got the Drytron card revealed a couple days ago um, and I'm just happy we're getting them. So um, without further ado, let's just jump into it. It's a monster as we all thought. This is Magistus Flame Zoroa. And kind of interesting is like how, uh, what is, is all three? Yeah, all three of the other main deck monsters have some sort of resemblance of a monster we already know about, or like uh, an archetype we already have, like in the game. So like, um, there's the one that's supposed to be like the, the young, it's not Alistair, is it? What's the, what's, uh, yeah, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is Alistair, I think. There's like the young Alistair, there's like the um, witchcrafter, the the young, is it Vare? Is that Madame Vare? I can't, I don't know. And then there's the one that's like based off like the Endymion, Master Endymion. So um, we have all those three. What's interesting is that this one doesn't have one that's like obvious to pair with, but maybe that's just something where, I don't know, we have a little set called Blazing Vortex, a fire named set. And this guy's attribute is fire. He's surrounded in flame. Maybe this guy is just like a hint at what we could find as a new archetype in that set. Also, we should get that revealed fairly soon. I've been thinking about that. Blazing Vortex should be coming up soon. But we're talking too much about not this card. Let's get into the effects here. We've got Magistus Flame Zoroa. He is a fire spellcaster tuner effect monster. Very interesting, uh, but I guess it makes sense so that you can um, make the synchro because it is a synchro level eight, um, and obviously he's level four. And his attack and defense are both fifteen hundred. Nothing crazy on those. You can only use each of his first and second effects of this card once per turn. First effect says you can target one Magistus monster you control. Equip a Magistus monster from your extra deck to it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. You get you get a good amount of utility. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what the extract monsters do. One of them essentially gives you a back row removal. One of them does give you a search for another Magistus monster. So essentially, this card becomes a Stratos at that point. You could... Uh, you could equip the fusion, but I think the fusion just buffs you by a thousand. But I, which I guess isn't even the worst, because I mean, this guy's 1500. That just means he's a normal summon 2,500 beater. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and then the other one is like, uh, it would give you an out to a monster. Like if you, uh, when you battle a monster, you'd get an out to it. Okay, so you get a good amount of utility out of that. I like that. Sega Vex says, if this card becomes equipped with a Magistus monster card, I don't know, maybe by its first effect, you can special summon one level four spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard, except for another Magistus Flame Zora, but negate its effects. All right, that's kind of nice as well. I don't like that it negates the effects. I don't think any of the other ones are like overly busted where this needed to be a thing. Ah, that negate effects part is like so annoying. I mean, this could have been an amazing extender just to pull, I don't know, Matt, the, the witchcrafter one, the one that searches a spell or trap. Summon this guy, special her from hand or graveyard if you're further into the duel or something. Boom, get a search for a spell or trap. You could summon this guy, get a special of um, the Endymion guy, and he can equip a, a, a Magistus monster with another um, Magistus monster as well. Um, but no, you can't do that. It is still nice just to put the bodies on board because that is definitely something that I questioned, not necessarily um, for the effects, but just to put the bodies on board so you could make the rank four, you could make the synchro. You can already make the link one, but just make a link one uh, isn't, isn't enough, I, I'm thinking at this point um, in like how it works. But uh, I think it's nice. I think the biggest thing is it negates the monster's effects. That's the biggest clause that kind of is oof because if this could just this could essentially just be normal summon, search, um, uh, search, ah, uh, the girl. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember their names. The searcher that searches for a spell or trap. Then I believe in a new chain link, you'd be able to trigger the link one. 
or I mean, the, the Link one would trigger, and you might be able to trigger his second effect as well, where you can search the Link one and then summon her, all in the same, all in the same chain. Um, but she doesn't search. It, like I said, it's still nice that he can just pull him out like that. Rank fours do become a little more open with this card specifically in the archetype. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's amazing, but I do think the one biggest thing I was looking at the archetype and being like, mm, we kind of need some of this, is extendability. This does extend you, it just it negates the monster you're extending into. So just keep that in mind. It's not the crazy, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's nice. I think it's still a nice monster for them. I'm not sure if it's a three of, but it's still pretty dang good, I would say. So that's going to do it for me here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet, and let me know your thoughts on this card. I mean, obviously, Magistus is still super new. We've had limited testing time with it, even online and stuff. Um, but how, how good do you think this card is? I mean, I think this is pretty nice. I mean, we got the, the Drytron card revealed, which was a utility boss monster, which like doesn't even make a lot of sense, but... Yes, a utility boss monster that's nowhere near as good as the other one. This card, however, is like an actual help to the engine and extending you, which is which is pretty nice. It doesn't summon itself, um, but it does pull another Magistus monster out of the hand or grave, which is pretty cool. So let me know your thoughts down below on this card. And uh, if you have not yet, subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news discussions. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.